irrespective of the fact that slavery has been eradicated by law, in reality it exists and it affects the lives of many, many millions of people. It is not only trafficking in humans, as it has seen now in the media. It is bonded labor, it is hereditary forms of slavery, it is caste-based slavery, it is worst forms of child labor, it is uh, early marriages, it takes uh, many, many forms. For example, this year work I specifically was addressing in my report, work of children in mines and quarries, because this is the issue which is not seen every day. People do not think that what we wear, gold or metals we're using, they are produced at the stake, at the uh, life, at the price of the life of children. I have been visiting mines and have seen the condition and what conditions children are working there. Death toll is very high. Health uh, effects are extremely big. And this is a problem that should not be ignored. We should be educated. We should know how to address this issue. And that's why you know, I'm trying to raise very specific issues in my report that are not addressed, that are in a shadow of our knowledge and bring it to attention in order to have a bigger impact to protect the lives of the children. And we jointly, all of us together, have to try to find, to protect the rights of those people. For me, it is really a big pain when the child is born not free. Even the right to be born a child is taken from child. He has to pay the debt that his parents have had. This is a real pain. In the 21st century, how could we speak about such issues that child is born non-free? And he doesn't know his childhood because he has to work and work and work. And this, this is, if there is no recognition, this process penet uh, you know, perpetuates. His father was like this. His, his entire family has been working as bonded laborers. We have to stop this.